Today on For the Love of Hoops, we have a player watch video on RJ Barrett. Barrett is currently 17 years old, 6 foot 7 and weighs in at 200 pounds. He's listed as a small forward. He's also Steve Nash's godson, which is pretty cool, kind of jealous. He's actually from not too far from where I live. He's from Mississauga, Canada. Canadian players always go to American schools, American colleges, because college sports up here are on a much, much smaller scale than in the States. Andrew Wiggins went to University of Kansas, Tristan Thompson, University of Texas, and even Steve Nash went to Santa Clara. RJ Barrett received plenty of offers, but he recently committed to Duke. He said he chose Duke because it felt like home. At Duke, there are 70 different countries represented in the school and sports programs there. Cities like Mississauga and other ones close to Toronto are very much like Toronto in a multicultural sense, so it makes sense why Duke felt like home to him. RJ Barrett is currently ranked number one by ESPN and is a five-star recruit with a 96 scout grade. He is currently ranked above other sensations like Zion Williamson, Cam Reddish, and Bull Bull. They haven't played in college yet, so these rankings may change, but he's been number one for months now. So why RJ for number one pick? We've seen a jump in Canadian players in the last couple of years, most interestingly having two number one picks back to back in 2013 and 2014. Maybe it's more interesting that Anthony Bennett didn't ruin basketball for Canadian players forever. But despite him, Andrew Wiggins was picked number one overall the very next year. I guess we've had a few players recently that have redeemed us a bit, like Tristan Thompson, Corey Joseph, Wiggins, and Olenek, maybe? So he could be the third Canadian number one pick in five years. There's plenty of info and videos of Barrett by now. He really is an all-around talent. He's fast, can shoot, grab boards, and pass. He's definitely versatile. In June, he led the Canadian under-19 team to gold. He averaged 21 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists, and 1.7 steals in 7 games. And his free throw shooting was 75.4%. He's athletic but also skilled and has a great body. He's also left-handed. He's able to move very well like a guard, and his athleticism draws comparisons to Andrew Wiggins. I'm sure he'll have a great season at Duke, and if he can keep these numbers up, I'm sure he'll maintain that first overall pick. He's going to be sharing the court with fellow prospect Cam Reddish, who's currently ranked third on the ESPN Top 100, so he'll definitely have to separate himself from Cam and the rest of the prospects in his college season if he's to be drafted first overall. I've seen reports of him compared to Wiggins, Michael Redd, and Richard Jefferson so far. What I think is most interesting about him is that I think he's versatile enough to play more than one position. Definitely fast enough to play the two, and he's good enough at passing to be slotted at the one for periods of time. He's six foot seven now, so we'll see if he grows and if he will end up playing any minutes at the four in the NBA. In the NBA now, the best players are all versatile. It seems like we're seeing more players who are able to play multiple positions and do multiple things on the floor. Ben Simmons, Giannis, LeBron, James Harden, and the bigs are all starting to shoot more threes now too. My point is that I think his ability to be slotted in one through three and maybe even at the four will be a big advantage for him in the NBA. That's it for Player Watch today. Thank you so much for watching. Love you.